Hey everybody, welcome to One Flight Down, another uh, deck beer edition. Uh, today, we're looking at a beer that comes all the way from Cuba. This one's called Bucanero Max. All right, we've had a really hot summer here. I've been really busy all the time. It's either, I've either been too busy or it's too hot to do yard work. Uh, it's still pretty warm today, but I think I gotta tackle the yard work a bit. So I need I need a yard work beer. What's a yard work beer? Eh, it's a beer that tastes like beer. You know, you, you just want something pretty straightforward uh, while you're out there doing yard work. You, you don't need like a, uh, a crazy, uh, you know, milkshake IPA or fruit and sour or whatever. You just want something that's gonna quench your thirst and taste like beer. <laughs> So that's what this, uh, I hope, will be. It's another one I got from Shane at Shane's Craft Beer Review. Uh, Shane was in Cuba uh, a couple months ago, and he sent some beers my way. He sent uh, four beers from Cuba, uh, although two actually are were originally from Spain, but he had them there. So I guess, and I'm getting the sense in Cuba that's where the beers come from, or Spain. But this one is actually one from Cuba. It's the second of the four that's actually from Cuba. It's called Bucanero Max. Uh, it is 6.5% alcohol. It's a lot stronger than the other ones uh, he sent from there. And when I was looking for a yard work beer, I did not see that 6.5%. But, uh, hey, <laughs> uh, going to give it a try anyway. I uh, love the logo. It's got kind of like this low-rent version of the, um, <laughs> the Captain Morgan guy. He's kind of like uh, Captain Morgan's, you know, womanizing cousin or something. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, what else does it say about this? Um, not much, really. Ingredients are water, malted barley, sugar, and hops. Uh, best before, like, next December. So this is, uh, all right. Um, yeah, it doesn't say too much. I'm expecting beer that tastes like beer, because that's what the other Cuban beers and beers that are available in Cuba seem to have been. Let's crack this one open. I am interested with the 6.5% though. But it comes out uh, quite golden in color. Uh, check that out. The upside down snowfall going. Um, yeah, quite golden in color, as I said. This looks pretty decent on the nose. Oh, quite robust actually. Um, yeah, uh, sometimes you get these, uh, you know, fairly average lager, like a, just, they don't have much of a smell to them. Um, I mean, it does just taste, or, sorry, smell like beer, but um, yeah, I don't know, it's, 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 there's a lot to it, I guess. It's just, it's got a stronger beer smell. Sometimes, you know, it's kind of not that noticeable, but this smells like a decent beer. Um, Maybe a touch of a sweetness on the nose too. Uh, but let's go in for let's go in for a taste. See what we got here. Okay, uh, yeah, it's pretty much what I'm looking for. Beer that tastes like beer does have a sweeter, uh, maltier note to it than I think the other um, the other one from Cuba that I had. That one was quite light more of a crushable beer. This one, I would sip a little bit slower than that. It's still a pretty decent beer, uh, but you can you can taste that 6.5% in there. It, does, it, it tastes and feels like a stronger beer than the uh, Cristal did. It's got a smooth mouthfeel, uh, just a slightly heavier body. And uh, yeah, you just sort of taste the booziness a little bit, but that's decent. This is gonna do the trick. Uh, while I get underway with the yard work. All right, thanks again, Shane, so much for uh, sending this beer to me. And uh, thanks the rest of you, to the rest of you for tuning in and uh, joining me here at the Terry Isle Basement Pub Patio. Uh, we'll see you all again real soon. Cheers.